This conference will now be recorded. Uh, welcome to SAP MM, MM and PM training. So today we will be covering the topic, the integration between MM and PM. The, the integration between MM module and PM module. So the topics that we are going to cover, we will see creation of reservation for stock items in the maintenance order. Creation of purchase requisitions for non-stock items in maintenance order. We will see this. Creation of purchase requisitions for external services in the maintenance order. We will see. And the creation of bomb for equipment or functional location where we will be using the materials from MM perspective and various goods movements for maintenance order. So these are the topics we will be covering for MM and PM integration. Okay. So the first one will start with creation of reservations for stock items in the maintenance order. Okay. So let's say uh, the uh, in the from the PM side, whenever they want to uh, repair a machine, repair an equipment, they create a maintenance order. In the maintenance order, let's say for the repair activity, they need some materials, spare parts like nut, bolt, gaskets, those things. So for those materials, when they assign in the maintenance order, if it is a stock item, if it is a stock item, system automatically creates a reservation. I will show you this in the system. So when they assign a spare part component in the maintenance order, system automatically will create a reservation for MM. Okay. And after the maintenance order is released, then printing and after that, they will do the goods issue. Miko. The stock items are issued from the engineering warehouse to the maintenance technician. So I will show you this in the system. So if you see here, this is a maintenance order. Okay. There is a 500 kVA diesel generator. It is not working. It is under breakdown. So the PM team creates a order, maintenance order, breakdown maintenance order. So now to repair this breakdown, this equipment, okay, they need some spare parts. If you go to components, you see they need a ball bearing and they need a flat gasket. Okay, they added as component. These are added as components. So these two, first two are stock items. If you click on the list button, these are stock items. See here, these are stock items. So for the stock items, for the stock items, system automatically generates a reservation. See here, reservation for order. So to see that reservation, select the stock item. Here you see there is a button, general data. You need to go to that button. If you go to that button, you see here, system has generated a reservation. Okay, so now you can see this reservation in our MM mm transactions like Migo. If you go to Migo, you can see that reservation. Okay, select display, display reservation. Okay, now let me go to MB23. MB23, enter the reservation number, enter. Okay, you see here. This is a reservation. Okay, so you see here. This is a maintenance order number. These are the two spare parts and their quantities required. So that's how system will automatically create a reservation. 